before you toss that food, you may want to wait a minute and make sure you check everything out first before you throw your hard-earned money in the trash can. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Best Buy dates, what it means, and how long things will actually last between canned goods and like your dry goods and stuff that you buy in the store, just like they are. Now, a lot of people are really confused with the Best Buy date. They believe that the Best Buy date, that if they don't use it by the time that's date stamped onto the cans, the boxes, the bags, whatever it may be, that you have to take and throw it in the trash. And that is totally wrong, folks. And even the USDA says that is totally wrong. I'm going to read you an article here in just a few minutes from the USDA. And you're going to see that even the government believes that is wrong. You're wasting food and you're throwing it in a trash and you're wasting your own money. Now, you take any type of product that you want, like this can of green beans right here. All right. Now, you have a Best Buy date on this can. Correct? Every can that you buy will have a Best Buy date. Now, lately, a lot of people have been seeing where they have been stamped maybe a couple of different times with two different dates. Now, I don't know what's going on with that because there's only supposed to be one stamp on here, so I don't know where that's coming from, but some people are reporting seeing that. The Best Buy date is the date that this manufacturer will say that everything that is in this can is good to eat, is fresh, guaranteed freshness, and guaranteed not to make you sick if used by this date. The truth being, these cans can last between five and 10 years past the best buy date if you store them properly in a cool, dry, dark place. And what you really want to watch out for is these three things. It's the three things that you really, really have to pay attention to. And it's only three. So it should be very easy for everybody out there. First one is no rust or anything else. No rust anywhere on the can, you know, make sure the can is all good. Expect your cans when you are buying them. Number two, dents, any dents in the can. All right, if you go to the grocery store and you pick up a can of whatever it is, like these green beans, and it's dented, put it back on the shelf and pick another can. Don't buy something that's already dented. That could be causing some problems down the road. Now, also, the last one is a very obvious one. And this one here is bulging. All right, that means the can is expanding. What is inside has been starting to grow bacteria and everything else, and it is actually expanding the can, and it will eventually explode, believe it or not. So you want to make sure that you're always monitoring your stockpile of your food, especially like your canned goods and stuff, because if you start to see them bulging, don't even open it. Trust me, you don't want to open it because it ain't going to smell too good. So you want to take and just throw that bad boy right in the trash. But if you start to notice rust, if, if say for some reason, you drop some cans and stuff and you get a dent in them, you want to use those cans as soon as you possibly can. All right. If you cause the problem and you put the dent in the can, all right, you know that you did it. Use that product next. Move it to the top, the front of the line. Doesn't matter if it's, a, you know, it's got the longest best buy date and your rotated stock and everything. Move it to the front of the line and use it first. If it has rust and everything on it, you have to do this. You have to open it. Okay. Once you open the can on any given product, once you open the can, you're going to do the first thing you're going to do is you're going to smell it. Use your little nose and smell it. Okay. Once you have done that, all right. And if it's past the smell test, you want to look at it. Does it look normal? Does it, there's nothing discoloration. There's none of that kind of stuff that's down in there. All right, and if that looks really good, so it looks like it's supposed to look like, 
Well, then you have to do the leap of faith, as I call it, folks. And you have to take this can and you have to taste it. Get yourself a spoon, take a small taste, put it in your mouth. Now, if it doesn't taste good, spit it out. Don't swallow it, spit it out. If it tastes fine, it just passed all three tests, use the product immediately and you'll be fine. Now, some things on the shelf don't last as long as some of your green beans and things of that nature and all that kind of stuff. Anything with an acid-based product, basically tomato sauce, like this can of Hunt's tomatoes, all right, you see, everybody can see. So tomato sauce, tomato paste, beefaronis, uh, Chef Boyardee, any of that kind, anything with a tomato sauce is not going to last as long as the products without a tomato sauce. It's the acid base in these cans that are going to affect how long this is going to last. You see, it just won't last as long because of the acid base. Now, they did do away back in the 70s using um, different types of cans and everything else. Um, they're no longer allowed to uh, do any type of soldering around the top and this type of thing. And also, they have took and in these cans is usually a liner inside the can. If you actually dump this product out and you rinse it out, you're gonna notice it looks like there's a film on the inside of the can. That is also there to protect you and it keeps it from giving you a tin flavor like you used to get years ago from canned goods. That's why a lot of people don't like canned goods because when they were growing up, a lot of things sometimes had a tin flavor. And that is to protect it, the product inside from that happening. And this way here, it also extends the shelf life of the product because it gives it another barrier inside. More the barriers, the better, all right? so. When you are looking to do your cans and everything else, you always want to make sure that you're rotating your stock. It's no different than anything else. All right, you want to rotate your stock. Make sure that, you know, your best buy dates that are the closest to the date that you're living in right now, those are in the front. And the ones that are extended out, those go in the back. Being said, you can get all different types of stuff. You can get your chicken breast, all right? And these things are gonna last for a long time. It, there's just so much that you can put up in just buying canned goods. A lot of people like fresh vegetables and all that kind of stuff. We're talking emergency situations here, folks. So emergency situations is gonna be your canned goods. Your everyday meals that you wanna make, if you wanna use, fresh vegetables and fresh uh, chicken from the store or whatever it may be, your local butcher and all that, that's fine and dandy. This is a survival channel. This is survival food. There's a difference. Now, there are a couple of things that you really want to watch out for, and I'm going to show you some right here. Two different, two different cans, both of them, all right? All right, one is a sealed top. You see, it's totally sealed all the way around. The other one, it has a sealed bottom, has a pole top. With the pole top, you have to be very careful with this edge right here. If anything hits this, if you drop it, if something collapses on it or anything like that, you have to watch out for this seal because it will break very easy, unlike a solid top. Now this makes it nice because if you don't have a manual can opener, you can just pop it right open and you're good to go. This, you have to have a manual can opener in a survival situation. Okay. Now, yes, if it's a normal every day, you got plenty of power and you got the electric can opener, you can throw this bad boy in there and open it. But if you have no power or anything, you want to make sure that you do have a manual can opener. Now let's just move on over here real quick and let's talk about some of the pastas. All right, now you can go to the store and you can buy all these kind of pastas. All right, now believe it or not, folks, these things 
will last for a long time in this box past the best buy date okay ladies and gentlemen this is where you're going to enter to win now i'm going to make this short and sweet you're going to have to work for this one though folks okay this is for the whole sawyer mini kit and everything else that you're going to get with the gallon water bag the whole deal all right but this is what you got to do you got to comment in the video below exactly what it is that you prep that you have the most of and what is the oldest product that you have used past the best buy date comment below and the reason I'm doing this is because then more people are going to see that it's okay to use something past that best buy date. So make sure you comment below and you're going to be entered to win. Join me on Saturday night live at 6 p.m. as usual, folks. And we're going to have a winner on this video. Good luck to you all. Stay safe. Keep prepping. Comment below if you want to enter to win. All right, the USDA actually states that pastas and dried products, rice and pasta and dried beans in the original package will last between two and five years before you have to either use them or store them in a different way for long-term food storage. So buying these things, if you don't have the money at the point in time to buy, say, Mylar bags, canning jars uh, if you don't have a vacuum sealer if you don't have any of these products just remember that these products are going to last if you store them correctly up to five years past the best buy date so that's not bad that's really good i mean this way here it should be able for you and your family to be prepped and ready for any type of a given situation and it goes along with just about any different types of your box products your box pastas and rice and beans like i did say you know they're gonna last in their original package for a quite a long time now i just want to read you something from the usda so let me grab my phone right here and this comes right from the united states department of agriculture all right and it says, the question was, what about the foods in your pantry? Most self-stabled foods are safe indefinitely. Indefinitely. And that's coming from the USDA. All right. In fact, canned goods will last for years. As long as the, the can itself is in good condition, no rust, no dents, and no swelling. Packaged foods such as cereals, pastas, cookies, and crackers will be safe past the best buy date for quite a few years, although they may eventually become stale or develop an off flavor. You'll know when you open the package that the food has lost its quality. Many dates on foods refer to quality, not safety. There you go, folks. That's from the USDA, all right? You can go right on the USDA and you can look up and you can find out all types of information on storing food long-term, how long food will last and everything else. And I'm gonna be doing quite a few different videos on a lot of these different topics. So you all are aware of what you can do, what you can't do, and how this is going to affect you. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I would like to thank you for joining me today on this video. Before you toss your food, you might want to wait a minute and make sure you check it out so that you aren't wasting your hard-earned money. You all have to stay safe. You all keep prepping. It's very easy to do. Now you know exactly what the best buy date is and how long some of these things are gonna last you if you are going to start putting up some of these foods. And also remember, and a quick tip before I go, when you go to the store and you're looking to buy, say you wanna, you're gonna buy a can of corned beef hash. All right, pick up two. Put one in your food storage, one in your pantry. But here's the trick, folks. When you use the one from your pantry, don't go grab the one from your food storage. 
go buy another one or buy two and then put another one in there so you're gonna buy one you're gonna use you just put another one in your food storage do that with all your different types of products and everything else and you will find that in a reasonable amount of time you are building up a nice stockpile for you and your family so until next time I'll catch all of you on the flip side